<laughs> see, the problem is, see, it, 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 it was obvious he had to go, but the problem is who it is that replaces him. Um, I, I believe that the only candidates that have um, entered so far are a pitcher of Tommy Douglas and a mop bucket. And it's not entirely clear um, which one um, has the better healthcare plan. <laughs> There's nobody left in this party. See, and, and that's the thing. I mean, it's like he had, he had to go. He 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 was a disaster. Okay, but there's no one left. <laughs> um, you know, so it's like the picture of Tommy Doug Douglas <laughs> or the mob bucket. <laughs> See, this is this is why the liberals govern for thirty years at a time. <laughs> Because the opposition just tanks. I, I, I don't know who he's going to... Like, like, honestly, like, it, it, it's completely... Like, it, you could, like, it could be Naomi Klein. And I'm, I'm not joking. It could be Naomi Klein. Like, 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 like it's, it's way open. Okay? It's, it's wide open. There's no obvious um, successor. Because he... Okay, for, for, first he purged the party of anybody that was to his left, which was the entire party, except for, like, a lot of, like, you know. He, he replaced a lot of very, very good MPs with a lot of just, like, yes people, right? And then his base seems to, I mean, I'm, I, I say that, but then I have to remember that I haven't voted for the NDP in 10 years, right? Over 10 years. Um, because they keep running to the right of the liberals, so it's like, you know, <laughs> I keep voting for the liberals because you keep running to their right. It's not even that the liberals are running to the left, it's you're running to their right. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, the, the, the voting base wised up to it and they turfed everyone. I mean, even a lot of good MPs lost in the last election, right? So... Like, there's nobody, you know, like, like they're down to the cactuses and the, you know, and the, and the drapes. Um, it might be the easiest, um, race that Nikki Ashton has ever won. Um, and she's won a lot of hard races. So, uh, I, I think she, maybe she's in for an easy one. I would kind of like to see Naomi Klein run. I don't think she'll do it. She's married... Here's something that most Americans probably don't know. You probably know who Naomi, Naomi Klein is. You probably know she's from Canada. You probably don't realize that she's married to a guy whose father was the leader of the provincial NDP and whose grandfather was the leader of the um, federal NDP. Um, so, it, it's, it's been a while. Okay, most people don't really know who uh, Abby Lewis is. It's, it's, it's the truth. Um, Naomi Klein has a lot more name recognition. But I mean, that's, um, It, it, we're talking about like a, like, a, like a socialist party here, so we can't really talk about, you know, the royalty of the socialist party. You know, and there's, you know, something wrong with an arist aristocratic lineage in a socialist party, obviously. Um, but nonetheless, um, if there was an aristocrat in Canada, it, it's Naomi Klein. <laughs> she is. The things you can learn from reading or from listening to my blog. That there is about to open up a leadership race in Canada between a picture of Tommy Douglas and a mop bucket um, with 
um, a possible late entry. Um, keep your fingers crossed by Naomi Klein. The most exciting politics in the world. Can Naomi Klein win in Canada? You know what? I think she could. And I think that would be a that would be the most outrageous election. Ryan McLean versus uh, versus uh, sorry, yeah, Justin Trudeau. <clears throat> and there's, there'd be a conservative running too. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, um, I actually, I, I, I thought he'd probably pull it off. Um, it was 52-48, so it was very close. This is... See, see, Canada has a political system that has a lot of um, things like confidence votes that, that, that might not... Um, well, I'm sure you have something sort of like that in your, in your House of Representatives, um, if not in your Senate, but... Losing a vote like this is uh, demeaning. Um, normally, um, if you if he was expecting to lose, he would have stepped down. He he would have um, spared himself the embarrassment of losing a vote. Right. So that's um, humiliating, and hence the um, obnoxious laugh. Um, but the, the guy's a opportunistic, he, he's, he wasn't even on the left side of the Liberal Party, right? And, you know, it's, it's very, um, I mean, you can blame him. At some point, the NDP has to blame itself for electing the guy, right? But, um, hopefully this is, um, the beginning, um, uh, of, of the party writing itself, um, for F. Naomi. I, 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 <laughs> Listen, if you were in a country that had Naomi Klein as the titular head of its leftist uh, political um, uh, dynasty. Would you be kind of itching about it? Uh, she, she, I, I, I bet she, she'd have to fight Abby off, but I mean, it's, hey, what is the actual truth? Um, she has way more name recognition than he does, right? Um, it, it, it would, I mean, of course, it would no doubt be one of those teamwork type things, right? But I mean, it's uh, she would be the um, she would be the stronger general candidate by by a long shot. But I mean, I I think they could both win seats. And for what it's worth, um, the other thing that happened at the NDP um, convention this weekend was that um, they adopted um, something called a leap manifesto. Um, I'll let you look it up. Um, it's it's a haphazardly thrown together um, uh, scrawl out of ideas um, <clears throat> that was um, meant just to. Uh, change the narrative, I think, in the last election. Um, didn't quite do what they wanted, um, but uh, I think it did have an effect. Um, and the authors of um, that Leap Manifesto, um, which itself is like, why would you say Leap Manifesto? See, like it, it's like it's it's like you're selling it to the.
like, like for real, it's uh, like as as though you're selling a a pamphlet to a you know a twenty to twenty five age group. Um, <laughs> and you can just imagine, you know, the seventy year old uh, Polish immigrant voting for the Leap Manifesto. I might sell some books, but maybe not the best idea for retail politics, right? But I mean, that's... Regardless, um, the, the author of the um, platform that uh, the New Democratic Party in Canada has adopted over the weekend is, in fact, um, Naomi Klein and her husband, Abby Lewis.